This is the first episode of our Roman tub build. You can basically get two different kinds of tubs. You can have a pre-made tub made out of fiberglass or steel or cast iron or whatever material you want, whether it's a jacuzzi tub or just a regular tub, or you can tile in your own tub, which is what we're gonna be doing here. The reason for that is because we wanted one bigger than normal and we wanted one that fit the room exactly. Basically, a Roman tub is just a big shower. You can think of it that way. You build a curb just like you would with a regular tiled shower, and then you tile all the way up the curb, and then you basically put a drain in the floor, and that holds the water in. There are a few considerations when you're doing this, however. You need to make your curb just a little bit sturdier than normal. You also need to make sure that the floor underneath your Roman tub is sized correctly to support that. So our floor joists in this particular section of the bathroom have been spaced more closely. They're 12 inches apart rather than the standard distance so that way we can have a little bit more support for that weight. The next thing we did is use half inch concrete board all the way around in our shower. Most of the concrete board that you seem to find in your home improvement stores is quarter inch. It's not going to provide as much stiffness or as much support to the tile and to the water that's going to be in the Roman tub as the half inch variety. So you want to be really careful on that. Also on the floor of our Roman tub, we put down a complete one inch sheet of plywood and that's a four layer plywood. That's to help distribute the load just that much better on the floor. Here we are back in the bathroom and with a continuation of the project, I've pretty much finished the ceiling and what I've done is I've used this matte finish brick stack tile in white because the ceiling in here is also white so I wanted it to be a common theme. In the ceiling we have three LED lights that we installed and there will be two rainfall shower heads which is what these holes right here are for. A lot of our guests have commented that this shower is extremely high. This ceiling that's tiled happens to be 10 feet high. That just happened because it was the way that we were framing the house and all the other flat ceilings are at 10 feet. The walls, floor, and the dam for the tub will be out of this ceramic tile which is a slate color and then we'll be cutting up this for some accent pieces along the edges and around the soap holder and etc. Even though our house overall has a very traditional style, I really wanted something very modern in the shower, so we selected these shower fixtures by Danz, that's D-A-N-Z-E. Mm -hmm. 